it's Michelle. Happy Tuesday. So I hope you're all doing fabulous. So if you followed my video two videos ago, I went over my new schedule for doing my uh, grocery shopping to kind of reorganize my life since I went back to work. So again, it's Tuesday. So I'm going to start this video with um, a couple of grocery hauls. Uh, so the first one I have is Target. I picked up three boxes of cereal. Mike still eats cereal on occasion, usually once or twice or once or twice a week. He will have a bowl of cereal for breakfast. So I picked him up the Cascadian Farm brand organic vanilla crisp. It is sweetened with fruit, so no added sugars. Some cashew dough in the cinnamon vanilla flavor. Um, with this being keto friendly, even though we are not keto, obviously the sugars are extremely low, one gram. And then I picked him up some cashew organic blueberry clusters. This is one of his favorites. He eats this quite a bit. Then, uh, this is Mike's as well. The Organic Protein and Greens by Garden of Life. You've heard me talk about this brand before. The original founders were Dr. Josh Axe and Jordan Rubin. And um, they no longer own the companies, own this company, but nevertheless, this is still a fabulous company for supplements. Mike drinks one of these veggie shakes every day at work. Picked up some Munster cheese, some uh, Quest brand protein bars, balsamic vinegar. This is what I've been eating on my salads. This and some extra virgin olive oil. Ugh love that on my salads sour cream oh my goodness why am i hesitating like i saw it and couldn't read it oh my lord i'm not one to do energy drinks like i won't do um monster or five hour energy or any of them they have some really bad ingredients in them this is a a product the brand is called alani new uh, they make protein bars they make these energy drinks and i think there's another product they have too you have to check their website but Target started carrying these. Um, again, with me starting this job, my sleep is suffering. I only worked one day so far and I was dragging. And I can't, I don't drink caffeine on the mornings that I work because I'm drinking my spinach and protein shake on the way to work. So I'm not getting any caffeine in me. So I'm going to try um, taking these with me and drinking them on one of my breaks at work. The ingredients aren't too bad. I'm not a fan of these sugar alcohol alcohols. This one does have the erythritol in it. Um, if you look at the overall carbs, it only has five grams of carbs, but zero added sugars. The sugar alcohol is the two grams. So again, not something I would consume on a regular basis just because I'm trying to avoid sugar and carbs. Um, and I won't do artificial sweeteners if I can at all help it. Um, but again, just to get me through to my body gets adjusted to this new schedule, I thought I'd pick some up. So I have two of the Hawaiian shaved ice flavor and one of the breeze berry flavor. And then the Bull House Farms and Naked Juices, Mike likes these. So I just got him, he was just about out. He has one left in the refrigerator. So I just thought I'd stock him up on some random ones again. So in the Bolt House Farms, I bought the Sea Boost, the Blue Goodness, and the Carrot Ginger Turmeric. And then in the Naked brand, I got two Mighty Mangoes, a Power C Machine, a Rainbow Machine, and a Kale Blazer. And then the last two items from Target were Mike's Milk and Mike's Immune Juice that he drinks every day at work as well. Next is Costco. And believe it or not, I went to Costco and literally bought five items. That was it. Like, who does that? What? I did. So I bought a three pound bag of walnuts, just a hair over two and a half pounds of haddock, a six pack of the boneless skinless chicken breasts, some fresh sliced mozzarella, and a bag of mini cucumbers. And here's what I picked up at the farmer's market. It wasn't much because I was just at the one in York on Friday. So I got a giant head, there's my hand, a giant head of broccoli. 
a giant head of leaf lettuce, a bag of spring mix, some tomatoes, and some freshly made guacamole that we will be having with our dinner tonight. And my last stop was Whole Foods for literally two items, some eggs and some bagels for Mike. This is my yummy lunch getting ready to happen. So I sliced up a whole tomato, some of that fresh sliced mozzarella that I just bought, and sprinkled some basil on it, some salt, drizzled it with a balsamic glaze, and some EVOO. Oh, yum. Hey, I'm back. So I thought I would give you my meal plan while I'm thinking about it. So I have it, of course, written down in my meal planner. If y'all don't have a meal planner and you're interested in one, this is by Carrie L. Um, CarrieL.com. It is a fabulous meal planner. Go check her out. They're a little on the pricey side, but there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, it, the way she has it broken down is, and this is just one, well, this is my current meal plan. But you can fill in however you want to design your meal plan. So the days of the week aren't written down already. The dates aren't in here. So it's completely customizable for you. And then your grocery list for your meal plan tears off. It's perforated. So you take your grocery list to the store with you. And then besides just that, um, she breaks it down. I wasn't prepared to show you this. Can you tell? Uh, she separates the months with pages like this. So then if you wanna just fill in whatever you want to on those pages in between each month. She has a section in the back for gatherings. This is one I did for my 50th birthday party. So it has a place to do your menu and your grocery list there as well. There's a whole section in the back for notes. I had used that for the guest list for my party when I did it. So again, it's a fabulous meal planner. Um, she has at the beginning uh, resources, so a place for you to list your favorite websites, uh, favorite recipes and recipes to try. I don't utilize half this stuff. I, I should, but I don't. There's a whole section on inventory where you can do your freezer inventory. Then there's a section on pantry inventory so you can list the item and the date that you either bought it or froze it. Um, so then I have all my meal plans that I can refer back to for ideas. I love it. So again, it's Carrie L, C-A-R-R-I-E-E-L-L-E.com. Um, she usually has about three different covers to choose from at a time. So um, yeah, go check her out. Anyway, my meal plan for the next seven days starting tonight, Tuesday, going through next Monday. Tonight we are having taco salads. One of the changes that I have made um, is we've cut back on carbs. Um, not keto, not paleo, again, no plans. No plans, I'm not following a plan. Ooh, there's a big old spider hanging on my kitchen screen. Sorry, distracted me. Anyway, what was I saying? complete I hate spiders oh my god I hate spiders he's on the outside though <coughs> oh we've cut back on our carbs which we've cut back on our carbs quite a while ago um, if you've been following me for a while you know that Mike and I don't eat white potatoes we don't eat white rice we don't eat white bread um, since I've had my surgery we've also given up pizza we've also given up tortilla shells um, soft ones um, again just to get rid of some extra carbs and get rid of some of that extra gluten with the soft tortilla shells so we've switched to taco salads so instead of having a, a shell as the base of our meal we're having a big old mound of lettuce so again just a simple swap that's a lot healthier so we'll have plenty of lettuce and tomatoes and he'll have onion on his. I may crack open a can of black beans too. I didn't think about that till right now when I was talking to you. So I'll probably open up some black beans for him. I'm not a bean eater. But then I'm going to be making just traditional taco meat made with 
ground beef. Now I do buy an organic grass-fed ground beef from Costco, so that's all I use. Seasoning up with basic taco seasoning. 3.30 this morning I was up making homemade salsa, so I know I have good healthy salsa in there. And um, I'll shred some cheese. I will shred some Monterey Jack cheese. Mike and I still eat dairy, not all dairy. We're kind of limited in the dairy that we consume. We no longer drink cow's milk. We don't eat ice cream. And that's more from a sugar standpoint than a dairy standpoint um, with the ice cream. But I will put a little bit of sour cream on my taco salad. So again, not complete deprivation, but all the changes that I have made have obviously seriously worked for me. Um, so anyway, tonight, I'm supposed to be telling you a meal plan and here I am just blabbing. Tonight, taco salads. Tomorrow, Wednesday, I will be making some chicken parmesan and having a salad. Thursday, I have fish and soft shell crabs and green and yellow beans down. Not sure if that's gonna happen or not. Um, that is a meal that I may shove off into the next meal plan, only because I still have leftovers in the fridge that I wanna use up and I'll probably use them that night, so that would be Thursday. Friday, I'm going to make some porterhouse steaks I'm gonna make Mike some sweet potato fries and we'll have, again, some salad. Um, he still will eat a sweet potato on occasion, usually about once a month, he'll have sweet potato. So again, I'm gonna probably chop them up into fries, the one sweet potato that I have. Saturday, we're having pizza. As I just told you, we no longer eat pizza. However, I am making the pizzas here and what I am using is instead of flour, pizza crust, I'm using the Ezekiel brand uh, flourless sprouted grain English muffins. So we will have English muffin pizzas, still using traditional pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese. So we're having those. And I'll put some other toppings on for him because he's gotta have some meat in there somewhere. Me, I'm good with just the cheese. So we're gonna have some English muffin pizzas and again, some salad. And then Sunday, I'm doing chicken fried rice making rice but again only brown rice and then Monday is always left overnight for us now because it's the day before I do my shopping so there's just some examples of some little tweaks that I am making um, so yeah I think that's it sorry battery died on the camera so now I'm back to my phone so instead of using that mindset that we gave up so much stuff. I don't choose to look at it as stuff we've given up. We've just made healthier swaps, but we've gained instead. We didn't give up, we've gained. We've gained feeling better. We've gained more energy. I've gained not having to take uh, metformin anymore, which is what I was on for 2005, 15 years, 16 years off and on, um, due to having insulin resistance, which is a precursor to diabetes. I've gained a body that moves better. Um, I've gained a body that can go out and walk three miles with no trouble. I couldn't do that. So instead of focusing on that, oh, I'm giving up so much stuff, think of what you're gaining just in exchange for things. I'm not giving up Taco Tuesday. I'm still eating tacos. It's just in the form of a taco salad where the base of it is good, healthy greens. So I'm, I'm, not, giving, I'm not giving up pizza. I'm just giving up the dough and the unhealthy white flour for a sprouted grain base. I'm not losing. I'm gaining so much in exchange. So then back to focusing on the number on the scale. I don't know, I have a philosophy that if you have an end goal, is that really good? If you're, I don't know, going for a, an end game of 150 pounds, I'm just gonna pick a round number, which I will say, According to the American Medical Association, for someone my height, 150 pounds is still considered way overweight. Um, again, I, I, I can't stand the control that some of these government organizations are trying to put over people. That is a whole nother video, let me tell you. Um, so 
If you're just focused on the number on the scale, what happens when you get to that number? You celebrate with a cake? You know, why have that end game? Why have that final thing you're going for? Why not just focus on getting complete control over your mind, getting complete control over your body and what you put into it? If I kind of veer off a little bit here on a little bit of a tangent on letting other things control this, for example, all the shit that's in our food that the government, our government here in the United States says is super healthy to consume, it's, it is, it's complete bullshit. It is. But you're letting them have control. You're going out and buying um, soda because you know the FDA has approved all the ingredients that's in a can of soda. You're going out and, I don't know, buying a box of Twinkies. Because you know Twinkie is made by a big giant corporation that has government safety inspectors and health inspectors in there. So you assume it's safe to eat and good for you. Really? Do you honestly think it is? I also don't agree with the whole uh, counting of macros. People who just count the calories. Again, if you're allotting yourself 2,000 calories a day, for example... So you eat 2,000 2, calories worth of shit food, but you call it a diet because you're counting your calories? Mm -mm. Your body needs certain vitamins, nutrients, and minerals to be able to function at its peak. And that's kind of what you need to focus on. Making your body function at peak ability wanting to feel good, wanting to live your best life. And you don't have to be 25 to start this. Again, I'm over 50. I'm pushing 52. And I'm finally getting my shit together after all these years. I'm really using some bad language. I'm sorry if that offends you. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I get excited about stuff and it, the, the words just fly. Um, but it's never too late to start. I don't care if you're 72. It's never too late to start feeling better, to start wanting to live your best life. This is your one and only body. Take care of it. Don't let our government control what you put in your mouth. You take control. It's your body, your life. Your body, your life. Your body, your choice. We hear that shit all the time. My body, my choice. Do that with the food. Do that with your food. Don't assume everything that's in our grocery stores is safe to eat. This also can be tied into COVID as well. The people that were hit hardest with COVID, the majority of them had pre-existing conditions or comorbidities seemed to be the buzzword at the time. All the government is doing is pushing a vaccine on you. And I use vaccine um, in quotes because it's still not FDA approved. They keep using the word vaccine, but by law they can't use the word vaccine because the FDA has not approved it and the FDA won't approve it. They've come right out and said that because this shit that they're injecting people with has not gone through all the testing that it needs to go through to be approved. It's only been authorized for an emergency use. But that's all the government's preaching at you. They're preaching at you to cover your face and take a shot. Why not preach, get yourself healthy? What happened to being healthy? All we get, all we get bombarded at us, if you watch TV or even internet ads or whatever you happen to be watching on a screen is, Living the good life, getting ready for the weekend so we can party and drink and eat junk and hang out and just have a good time because we've worked so hard all week. That just about drives me bonkers. Why aren't they pushing get yourself healthy? I know why, because medicine is big business and big money and you know all the stuff. You all know how it works. But that's what they should be doing. If your government cared about you at all, as a human, that's what they would be doing, but they don't give a shit about you. And don't, don't 
come at me and don't attack me. I'm not anti-government. I work for the federal government. I am what I call one of Biden's bitches. That's what I call myself. I work for the administration. I'm a federal employee, so I'm not anti-government. But the point I'm trying to make is they don't give a shit about you as a human. Or they would be doing stuff and telling you things to get you healthy. They don't want you healthy. You have to take control of being healthy. You're the only one that can do that. And it's easy to do. It's not hard. You just have to want it bad enough. You just have to eat food that is whole food. Organic as much as possible because you know all the shit that's in the food out there. Um, even if it's a whole food, if it's not organic, if it's meat, it's filled with all kinds of growth hormones and steroids and antibiotics and disease. If it's produce, chances are it's sprayed with herbicides and pesticides. So uh, organic as much as possible, but I understand it's not available everywhere. Um, and it's, it, it, it is much more expensive. So you have to kind of pick and choose what you got to spend your money on and with the money that you have. But just eat the whole foods. Eat the stuff that makes you feel good. I'm proof that it works. I've just finally been able to start exercising because I've hit that point in my surgery recovery where I can get out and I can walk. I'm lifting weights the little bit that I have here at home because I still have a little bit of a lifting restriction. I'm on my bozu ball. Um, I'm moving my body constantly and I'm still seeing results. I'm not getting on the scale every day, again, because I'm not focused on a number. I can just tell them how my clothes fit. I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit and back up. Even since I did my last video, I can tell I've lost more weight. Hold on. Like, seriously. I have lost so much more weight. And, and again, it, yeah, I could get on the scale and look at a number, but I can tell how I feel. I can tell how my clothes fit. I, my posture is even different since I don't have so much weight hanging on me. It is so worth it. But you have to believe that you are worth it. And you are. All of you are worth it. Just put the time into the research. Put the time into the food prep. It doesn't take two hours to make a good healthy dinner. You can if you want to. Um, put two hours into it, but you don't need it, you know, two hours to make a good healthy dinner for you and your family Just start with whole ingredients and go from there. So I'm gonna stop my yapping now and Back to work tomorrow. So I will be back with a video as soon as I can have a great work week If I don't talk to you for a few days and remember you're worth it You're worth the change take control of you and don't let anybody else control you, but you bye